on this episode of Game Shack. I show you guys how to install real pinball legs on your virtual pinball cabinet. Coming up next. Hey everybody, welcome on back into the Game Shack. I'm your host, JDV for EvilGeniusEntertainment.com. Thank you for stopping by the Game Shack. Okay, so this is the second, I think, in the series of how to build your own virtual pinball game. In the first episode, put together the main box. It makes the most sense to me to do to put on the legs next because you don't want the legs to be too far up on the, the body of the pinball cabinet so that your buttons might interfere or where your railing could potentially go. Um, also, I don't wanna wait to the last minute to put them on and then get sawdust on everything or to find out something's uh, not right. So I figure this is in many ways the most important part of this build because without these solidly attached to the box, the whole thing could come over or rip out a side or something like that. Don't wanna do that. So basically um, what you're gonna need to do is get yourself some real pinball leg parts. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a real pinball leg, right? You're gonna need a retaining plate that goes on the other side of the wood. You're gonna need to get little feet. This is, a, I think, the four inch one or three inch one. It's the longest one I could buy. You're gonna need a bolt. You're gonna need a nut. And that's it. Well, so anyway, I get my stuff from Marco's Pinball, and you probably should too. There are other reputable places as well, but I just get my stuff mostly from Marco's. Okay, so using the stuff I got from Marco's, I think I'm gonna be placing my plate in all the way down onto the floor of the pinball cab because I want the cab to be as high as it can. And the walls are relatively narrow at the beginning. It's a lot more like the At Games Legends in that regard. It's closer to that than it is to a real world pinball game. It's kind of in the middle, but in terms of the height of the cabinet, we're getting it all from the legs and not the body. So I really have to stretch that out. So I'm gonna have this be at the bottom, basically as far as I can get it down. Also figure that'll help me keep the uh, things relatively even. This screws into this plate here on the other side of the cabinet, and then you lock it down using this little brass thing, which you can put in a bit there to tighten it down a little bit on the other side. So it's a really, um, it's a very clever system. This is, this is actually how they do it in real pinball games, and there's no reason it shouldn't work for this. All right, so, and, and the other thing you're gonna need, you're gonna need a nice little wood, but this is a 5 16th bit right here. I might need a, widen it a little bit, but I think it's gonna be good enough to get the job done. All right, so uh, without any further ado, let's go ahead and drill these holes and put in the first pinball leg, and then you just rinse and repeat. All right, first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the bottom of the pinball leg, and I'm gonna go ahead and install the leg extenders into it. You wanna measure kind of where you're gonna, with these out. So I got the longest one I could, I think, it'll bear the weight of the virtual pinball game. Maybe not a real one this tall, but I think for this purpose, it will. I might bring it down. Uh, however, I'm, I'm trying to get this table to be as tall as I can get it uh, without having to use blocks under it or anything like that. So I'm gonna do that first. And the reason I wanted to do that is because this is gonna give you a, a more accurate representation of where this is actually gonna be on the body of the game. And you can see right here, if you look at this hole, it's very close to here. I think I will have enough, but maybe I will bring it up just a scooch. I really don't want it to be way up here, and I do want to give myself as much vertical height as I can. So this is, this kind of feels right to me, right around there. Here I'm just making sure that the leg isn't going to interfere with any buttons. I thought about using this big red button to start, ended up going with the smaller one, but it, it gave me a good safety margin. All right, so this is the front left part of the cabinet. So this is where your, your hand's gonna be. And using the brass nut that we're gonna use to secure these things down, I'm gonna put this in here just to give myself about an inch taller than I would be if I just sort of flush. That way it's, it's a little higher up and it'll give me uniform way to go ahead and place the other three. I'll just use that same exact um, nut there to bring it up a little bit and I think if the bolts, if the bolt is right there on the side and the legs, I don't think that's gonna bother the hand at all. So I think we're gonna to be totally good in terms of clearance of not hitting your hand on the top of the leg, of giving enough there at the bottom and enough at the top. I think we're, we're gonna be pretty good with it being right there. So I'm using just that little end bolt 
to give myself a little spacer. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm not gonna drill all the way through, but I am gonna drill enough into the wood where I can guesstimate where I should go and try to make this as perpendicular as I can here. Got it in. Using that, that nut there does work pretty well for this. So the 5 16 isn't quite big enough to get the bolt through. So I'm using this uh, multi-variable type drill bit and I'm gonna see if I can't get it in a little bit more exact. Just going a little bit both ways here. I don't want to make it too big. The good news is this seems to be, generally speaking, where, okay, so that's just about perfect. All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So this is saying about 7 fifteenths. So I'm going about to a 7 fifteenth on this multi bit. It just worked for me, you know, that would be great. No must, no fuss. Okay, so that's there. My first one's almost in. All right, let's see if it fits in, second bolt. By wiggling it around a little bit here, I think I'm getting it to come through without having to put too much pressure on. So this is actually working. So that's pretty good right there. And so then you would use these, the brass caps here, just as a way to lock these down. As one final step, besides using the lockdown nut, there are places here where you can put in some smaller wood screws, some new screws just to go into this half inch wood without splitting it. But it's remarkable how already tight this is and how, how much sturdier it already feels. Okay, so what I did is just buy a whole box of these um, small wood screws for the brackets and for other parts in the build. Um, they're, I don't know, I think it was like $3, $5, something like that, and you get a bunch of screws. You could probably get them off of Amazon, but I got these at Ace. Right, here's a look at all four corners and looking pretty good, really. Very happy the way this has all turned out. Very light, strong. So that's pretty much it. These things are pretty tight already. Of course, they're gonna to have to come back off when I paint it and or put graphics on the machine. So I'm not gonna go hog wild with it, but drilling all the holes, getting the legs on really should be the next step because we're gonna keep adding weight. We're gonna keep adding things to it. So you might as well get this done, even if you are gonna keep it on saw horses. But right now, I'm happy with the, the design of this. I'm happy with how relatively light it is. I don't know, maybe 
I don't know, 30, 40 pounds is really not that bad at all. It feels very, almost kind of like a little boat. It feels very tough. Uh, the legs don't seem wobbly at all. So far, so good. It all seems to be working. All right, okay, so the next step, so we're gonna put in the front part here. We're gonna put in measurements here for our back box. Just get something in there. And we're gonna start to drill the holes for all of our buttons and everything like that. Um, if you have a question, just ask me down below. I'll try to answer it. I'll try to have links to everything, but if I forget, Go ahead and remind me down in the commentary uh, section. More episodes coming. Love each other. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the Game Shack. Mwah! Be sure to visit EvilGeniusEntertainment.com for exclusive content, swag, casting call news, and much, much more.